Hello and welcome to a map review. We will be looking at this map here. It's called Garail. And it is a map which I think we may have reviewed before. Um, this could be the latest version of a map we reviewed for the mod contest. Um, it went, I think, by the name Agro Goral in the mod contest. I think they dropped the uh, aggro bit. So I'm not sure. Um, so this map is uh, season compatible. So we will add that to the map. And I have a feeling it's also chop straw compatible, which is why I've added it. Um, so here we are. Um, we shall jump straight in. Um, take a look at the old error log to see if we get any errors. So this is version 5.03 of the map. Um, so it's quite quite mature now, I believe. Um, it here, I say it is seasons compatible, and um, don't see any errors so far. And let's just quickly scroll up and, and double check. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything. So let's jump straight in. Because we're running seasons, it's dark as per usual. So I'm just going to advance time a little bit whilst we discuss the uh, the old map. Let's just move out of the way of wherever we spawned. I respawned on a nice little staircase. Let's kind of have a look at the the old map. So we have quite a lot of fields. I can see here, I think, 103 fields. 103, yes. So a lot of fields. So from what I understand, this map has three playable farms and a wide range of activities to do. As you can see, there's a huge number of fields. The field shape and sort of makeup is pretty random um, to say the least um, it'd be interesting to see if there's any separation like uh, fencing or hedges between some of these fields if you look down here because you, know, you could potentially merge fields and like so this is a polish um map but it's based on a polish area um so as you can see, some of the naming is in Polish. Um, but yes, this is a, a map of a Polish region. Um, it did say that at the start, and um, I missed that. But essentially, it is a, a Polish map. Um, standard fruit types apply here. Nothing different there. Um, so we've got um, 103 fields. We have, when we start this map, uh, the following fields. We have 31, 23, 22, 35, 38. We have 69 and we have 77. So those are all the fields that we have. The fields are various sizes um, and various shapes. So we've got what looks, 22 looks to be a really small field down here. We'll check those out in a bit more detail later. And um, we look at course by and have a look at what it reckons the sizes are. In terms of sale points, we have just 10 sale points on this map, two of which look like they are rail only sale points. So you will only be able to get to sell to them by rail. In terms of um, items to sell it is literally just a standard uh, fruit types and standard sale items there doesn't appear to be any kind of production items here on the map and in terms of animals we have nothing when we start off and we have a hundred thousand storage capacity on the farm of course you can tip if you so desire and I'll just stop the clock 
and what we can do now is take a look at the vehicles so we start off with a new holland 8340 a zeta proxima power 120 a deutz far agro star 6.61 we have a stall fz30 front loader and a couple of attachments we have a case 1660 axial flow and a 14 foot header we have a metal tech db8 and a vernland aquardis farmer 3000 we also have a vernland accord dl we also have a vernland exactor el 70 700 sorry so we have uh the vernland cultivator we have the vernland cedar which does not do fertilizer and you have to cut and it's not a direct seed cedar as well and then we have a vernland fertilizer spreader we have a single 650 kilo weight so that's all the equipment you have on the farm so there we are um we're going to just have a quick look around um we seem to have a christmas tree yeah very odd this is the farmyard we spawn in that um it appears to have the cows here as well we've got some of the equipment lying around we've got a trailer and so on let's have a look in the sheds got one tractor there kind of a small shed everything is kind of popped into these sheds actually by the looks of it another tractor um I don't know what that is what is that seeds and fertilizer apparently um i don't see any seeds of fertilizer on the floor but uh, apparently so um let's have a look there's nothing in there then we've got our cedar sorry yeah our cedar and our um, cultivator and we've got a little wood pile a saw this looks like our silo um guessing that opens up when you come to tip little farmhouse here check this door that nah, is the painted on door okay what have we got in here i'm gonna find a combine i guess there's the combine in that shed or door was it in our end door in our end door um we've got another shed here these all opened up have a look inside um i'm guessing that's a pile of seed uh for us to use then we have a cow shed um there we go i'm guessing that's a cow shed with a little cow sign at the top um I'm guessing this is our spot for TMR and the like. A milking machine over there. We have a spot for manure and slurry. Little electric fence thing going down here. Uh, we have water and grass here. Nice little um, train over there. Just seeing the difference. Distance, sorry. We have a drive through silage clamp and we have a outside toilet so that is everything on this little farmyard um small cow pasture we've got some i say we've got fields close by so we only own 69 which is literally this field here 77 so they're close by to where we are we sort of spawn in at the, the point of the cow uh, essentially the cow farm in effect um this is the railway line and as you can see we've got storage going down here um tip location for storage and loading so effectively this is where we can load these trains these are the trains that we're going to use to deliver the mighty long that is mighty long um that is what have we got here 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, wagons on that train. And probably something like the same on the other one as well. The other one's pretty long too. We've got a pretty long the thing going around, a little railway line. Train system, there we go. Little railway station. The Garal railway station. A nice big radio tower there as well. Pretty cool. Um I do like this. It's, it's got the kind of um, labels and stuff for pretty in keeping. Got some people stood there. Very static looking. Yeah. Golden nuggets. Then we've got a few radio towers actually on this map. One over there as well. And then we've got uh, some store. We've got some various things over here. Uh, more Christmas trees. Um, We've got a little town. So we're actually coming up to the store. Um, we'll kind of run through to the store. We've got a shell garage there for um, fuel. This is the vehicle shop. Very nicely done. All the, the, the signs are in Polish. Although I do not know any Polish, I recognize that as, as Polish. Um, really nicely done. Um, some various signs, I'm not sure what that means. So, new most Polish might know what that means. It looks kind of interesting with those sort of cross through bits. Um, and there we have it. So, that's the stall that's there. We've actually kind of run up from here pretty quickly, actually. Um, interestingly enough, not we didn't really have to run very far. It feels like a very small map because of the just how we got from down here to here very quickly. So whilst we're here, let's head over to the sheep farm. This is the sheep pasture. A nice looking building over there, which we'll check out in a bit. So we have our feeding troughs for the sheep, water and grass, loading spot for the animals, and our wool pallets are spawned inside the sheep pasture. So that's an interesting place to put it. Um, that is interesting. Oh, is that going to open? Or do we actually have to hold? Yes, we do. So there we go. We've got a, another silo here, I guess. Um, this is like a set, you know, we said it's got three farms. This is another farm. Um, let's just check in this shed. There is nothing in here, but we've got um, plenty of storage here for our, our sheep farm. Um, yeah, plenty of storage if you want to get that up and running. Kind of a small little farm. We do have um, a field here, and as you can see, it is tiny. Um, but you know, this is she just field 39 is literally there, field 38, field 39. So, potentially, there's something that can be done with combining fields on this map in some places. Um, we might be able to just merge fields together. Let's head up to Transport Company. Transport Company is a sale point, we have our sale up off point here. Um, let me just check our map. Transport Company is the rail only sail point up here. Don't think, and I don't see, I think it looks like, oh, maybe this is a road. There is a track coming to here, but it is literally, I think, the sail point where we can only sell. Um, I had trains. There we go. Quite nicely done. So let's hit the freight yard next. 
Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's just just check. No, this is just a normal sell point. So we can come in here and drop off and sell. Drop off here and drive through sell point. Um, pretty straightforward thing. Um, we are quite close to the edge of the map. There's a, literally a field there. There we go. Don't own any fields immediately close by. Um, right, entry point here, bit of a road coming in. Again, we've got nice little um, polished signs, quite nicely done. And we're very, we're quite a long way out from the main of area. Some ditches here that's, that looks interesting. There is a little hedgerow here that's intriguing me because it looked like it was flat, but it's not. It's just because of the lack of colour. Um, right, so we are here. The interesting thing is I'm going to run to this because this is a yard. So it looks like a cell. Could be a cell point, but it's not. I don't think there's actually anything here we can do. This is a little town of Goral. Um, there's nothing in there we can actually sell or do. It just seems to take up some space. There's no entrance to it. There is this. Oh, yes, there is an entrance. There it is. Missed it through the corner thing. I can't really do anything here. Raft trance. This little lot here seems to be kind of wasted space. There's nothing there for us to sell or do. Um, we've kind of done transport yard, freight yard. Let's hit um, the pig sty next, the pig enclosure. So this is feeding for the pigs. We've got food there, water here. We're in the shed. So let's open the shed up. Nia pops out there and Slurry pops out here. This shed is an entirely enclosed pigsty. I don't think the pigs go outside. I'm sure what this is. I don't think it's something we can actually do or use. Um, there's obviously, that's R331 actually. Um, again, Seasons is in play here, so Seasons is kind of removed the crop that's the loading point for the animals um we have got another little silo here as well again little tipping silo point here um guessing we can open this door maybe not let's try this side I'd like to say we could get into this, but um, we can't get into that. It seemed to actually, I think it could only open from the inside. So we've got various sheds here, um, all empty at the moment. We've got some light switches on, nice little house. That's actually really quite a nice little house. Farmyard here, some various sheds. Um, this is the third farm, effectively where the pigs are, which is just here. Let's head to the spinnery. So this is a cell point for wool. Um, what else have we got on this lot? We've also got a normal cell point here for grain and the like. Uh, drive through, drop off, as it were, and drop off a spinner for wool. Kind of got the old uh, gold crest wool ball. Um, a lot of these raft trans trucks around, but you know, it's a local trucking company. Let's hit the barn next. Um, we have got a basically a sell point here for getting rid of straw and hay. Um, quite a lot of boils of straw um, here, but this is essentially what we've got here. Quite a straightforward thing. Uh, we have a little wood here. 
as you can see a little bit of i guess woodland for logging and the like not very big but you know it's a little bit here there's some more it's obvious that these are all woodland areas here and here uh, we'll check out the biogas plant now so what we've got here is two of the kind of smaller uh, size clamps then we've got this rather large one that looks kind of odd and out of place um, and you have to get quite a long way in before it actually registers as a silage um, clamp uh, Waybridge there uh, above ground silo king over here and then we have our digestate over here and nice little lot for the BGA so we'll take a look at the animal dealer we've already been here um, so let's go down here this is the animal dealer um, here we go usual thing pigs sheep and cows slightly different pricing but this is um seasons seasons controls the pricing another radio tower there's quite a few of these radio towers on this map like a lot um there's this very big one here that's single thing now we've got the red one over there we've got uh another red one over there um yeah, there's quite a few radio towers. Okay, Centrum or um oh I don't know how to pronounce that, but this looks like a garden center. Sale point for slurry and manure. And um this yeah, this is the garden center. We've got uh, greenhouses, we've got um uh, seeds and fertilizer for sale, and that's pretty much it. Next up is the grain elevator. So here we have a grain elevator, big tanks, sell point, drop off location there. We also maybe can sell a uh, root crop as well. Um, but essentially, that's very straightforward sale point. Um, Go check check out the village grain elevator next. Um, what have we got here? Can't seem to drive through that. Uh, that's looking for a tipping point if this has got one. Ah, hold on. I think this is the other rail only location. Yes, village grain elevator. This is the other rail only sale point. You drive through with the train here. So that is that. Let's head over to the Stanton Sawmill. Stanton Sawmill is basically a sale point for wood chips. There we are. And do we uh, take in wood? Wood here. No. So this doesn't look like there is a sale point for wood on this map. Straightforward sale point. An odd looking piece of broken down farming machinery um if we just look over here you'll see um some trees that is our bit of woodland there that kind of goes alongside the um stanton sawmill that kind of main road let's just uh actually this is um no oh, this is the rail line um, so it's a single box there. And we've got a rail crossing. So you can just see down there, that is um, this area here. We've got some houses and the like just over there behind the uh, sawmill. Sort of not houses, actually the more apartments, kind of very... Um, Socialist housing, um, the kind of housing you kind of had in a lot of Eastern European countries where you kind of, the, the social housing projects that were built 
This is very reminiscent of those I've just built here. We've got our farmyard back over there. That's kind of where we're at. I'm just going to jump down here because I wanted just to see what this is. This is just another um, building, really. It's nothing there we can use, but it's just kind of another thing on the map. So we've kind of covered everything off except for here. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'm just going to jump probably there. And I'm actually going to run all the way. So this looks like something that could be useful. We've got various ditches around here. So this, ah, selling point for wood. This is a wood selling point. We've got no location on the map to point to it, but this is a normal wood selling point. Um, okay, so that's good to know. We take, we might check, take wood chips here as well, but at least we've got a place to sell some wood. Also sells breeze blocks. Or cinder blocks if you're American. Um, so that's this location here. We've got a good bit of woodland. Um, I jump up here. You can see that woodland over there. If we get into the air and just see all those trees quite nicely um, laid out there. Kind of look back over the map. We've got a lot of um, housing opportunities, um, various things, a few little buildings. It's quite a nice little villages, place down, shops, all these kind of decoration items that look pretty cool. Um, it's very nicely laid out. We are going to plunk ourselves over here. This is a good spot. And then we're going to just take a look at the couple of things. So we've covered off all the big areas and the sale points and so on on the map. Um, we can look around, we can see some fairly flat countryside. Um, a lot of the fields could theoretically be merged. For instance, if you look at these, there's just very thin lines of grass, or there's just a few trees effectively could be cut down. So all of these very broken up fields that we've got all over the place, almost fragmented fields can be merged together. Um, and made into um, essentially just contiguous uh, fields that maybe are more easy to use. Um, let's just have a quick look at some of our um, fields. Um, let's check out some field sizing. So field 22 is 0.25 hectares. Field 23 is 0.4. Field 20, uh, 31 is 0.51. Field 38 is 0.46. Field 77 is 0.76. And that's it. So the interesting thing here, uh, we have field 69 apparently, and it's not showing up. So we have this field, and it's not showing up in course play, which is intriguing. Um... These field sizes, you know, fairly small, 44,000 a piece. Um, so, you kind of have, you know, you, you, when you look at some of these fields, this is just something close by. Um, let's have a look at this nice big one, field 90. Um, that's only 6.94 hectares. It costs us half a million. Um, let's just have a look at a couple of these up. Here, if we wanted to maybe merge, say, 2731, um, as you can see, there is a fence here, actually. That's the fence there. Um, it's 0.6, it's 48,000. Um, you know, you've got some kind of interesting pricing around. Um, I'm going to just jump here, and then I'm going to get back up in the air. 
Um, and then we're going to take a look at the countryside with seasons. So first off, let's go through uh, the visual seasons. So we're in spring, but we've not got any spring colors. So let's try spring. So beautiful light greens. Everything's just come alive now. Um, all the, you can see all the tree lining of the of the fields. It just you know, it's just so much nice and brighter. Let's go into summer. And dark greens, it's again a bit more lush. The hedgerows have come out. Um, you know, the, the sort of hedgerow trees that we were seeing, they've kind of grown in and so on. I mean, basically, you can just see here we've got ditches stuff that's hedgerow that was kind of dark and gray, sort of grown in and so on. It's, it's starting to look really nice and flush. All right, let's go into autumn and see how autumn looks. So again, we've got the, the color change. We've gone into the, the browns and the oranges and um, everything's kind of rotated in. The hedgerows got a bit sort of browner um, and so on. It's, you know, this autumn is here. You can tell autumn is here. That's pretty cool. And then finally, we've kind of seen what winter's like, but let's just reaffirm that. Um, the textures go away, the leaves disappear off the trees, it's darker, it's more barren. Essentially, all of those sort of winter feel comes in. So that is the winter feel. So, you know, let's have a look at it with snow. So we just add one layer. And let's just see how that um, spawns across the map. Let's kind of head over to where we've got some buildings. Somewhere we should get some snow. Hopefully it's a snow mass. Aha, there comes the snow. So, what do we have? Well, around the buildings, and you know, this is some of the far, the cow stuff. Um, we've got clear space. The food troughs have kind of got snow in them and such like but you know the buildings have yeah i've got snow inside there's some places i expect not to see snow for instance around the manure pit and the silage pits and so on and around the feeding troughs because it makes it a little bit easier to see the the feeding uh, stations uh, let's have a look at the roads so there's a, a track there um which is kind of snowed over but then like the, the actual road the roadway is clear the footpaths are kill it clear um, let's add a little bit more snow uh, we'll add a couple of layers here and that, and watch that kind of come over um, you see it's kind of come in it's nice and thick, but it's again it's being kept off the roads and the build and you know the inside the buildings. Uh, but it's you know it's kind of looking good. So there we have it. So this is Goryal. Uh, it's a Polish map. Um, I have a sneaky feeling this was a mod contest map that's been updated. I'm not sure. I'd actually have to double check to make sure, but um it's a really nice map anyway um it is a pure farming map there's no production on here um it is let's say a pure farming map lots of small fields although the the good thing is you start buying these fields that are close by to each other you can start merging together making bigger fields that you can sort of manage in one go um not too expensive fields as well there's a huge field choice there's over 100 fields um so it's an interesting map. It's got a train system. It's got, you know, your normal fruits. It's got three farms that have been set up one to one to under each of the animal types, and since you can run each of those, they've got a little set of fields close by to each one, so you can basically feed and and produce what you need to produce for those particular little farms. Uh, so it's a very nice little map. Um, very beautiful. Um, 
the fear, you know, the, it's not completely billiard table flat. Um, it has a little bit of rolling to it in places. Um, it does look good though. It's a really nice map. There's uh, there's some forestry on here, although there's not there's no real space to put placeables down though. Um, so this is literally going to be a map you're going to farm on. Uh, you're not going to be putting placeables down. You're not going to be expanding your farm into other businesses to expand your farm's capabilities. So for when you're playing seasons, that could be an issue because essentially your closed end of year period where you can't really do much on the fields, you are literally going to be sat um, cutting down trees, really, and getting yourself ready for New Year with cutting down trees, selling them for wood chips or wood, and that's it. So with that, if you've um, enjoyed today's map review and found it useful, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more of this series on of map reviews and, and the like that we've been doing, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to see our Let's Plays on Cherry Hills and St. Etterton's Farm, please subscribe to the channel too. So with that, this has been the, the map uh, Goriel, a Polish map. Details for download will be in the show notes. And with that, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you guys next time.